everyone, Z1 here. Um, today I'm going to teach you a little bit of batch. Like, just a tiny little bit. We are actually going to use the file that, uh, oh, ouch. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> well, oops. Okay, fine. We aren't going to use that. No, we are going to use something else. Let me fix these. Apparently, it doesn't like me much, so we're just going to go here. Okay, then I am going to... Let's see if this will work. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use my own program again. I actually made this program myself. So now let's try it. So in batch you can do console commands. So this goes in sync with my last video on running jar files. You can also run class files this way. But uh let's try and make this work. Okay, save this. So I haven't set up keyboard shortcuts quite yet. Still making it. Okay. So I want it to be Morse code translator. Then I want to finish it with bat. There we go. Okay, now let's run this. Hmm. Okay. So like me. My program does not like me. Well it works with TXD files, so I'll regular notepad this time. Okay, sorry when my friends hang out just me. Anyway, let's do this. Basically type your console command. Okay, now I'm going to save this. Programming Java Jar Files. Dot bat. Okay, so it should work now. There we go. There we go. See, it's running my program. Anyway, this can run class prams as well. Uh, there you go. That's how you... Uh, oh, you can double-click it and run it, by the way. You don't need to type in a console command. Except, like, the first time when you type it into the batch file. But, goodbye.